if you are single in 2024, not in this street again, no. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is the first time of seeing my face, my name is Ore. You're welcome to Generate Ore. On this channel, I talk about lifestyle, I talk about faith, and I talk about relationship. If you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And to my amazing and returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for your likes, for your support, for the shares. Um, I really do appreciate it. Please, guys, please, 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 can we go into the habit of liking videos? And that, of course, if you got values from my videos, um, I, I promise you, you always get value. I'm also going to help you to recommend my videos to others. If they see the, you probably like, like the video, I mean, giving the video a thumbs up, right? So please not forget to give this video a thumbs up so that others can also learn from this video. This video, we're going to be talking about the dating pool right and um, i mean if you are single and if you're in a toxic relationship um you should not be scared dating pool might look like oh what's going on it feels like there is no godly man there is no godly woman out there and how are you going to find your person if there is no godly woman out there if there is no godly man out there and there are so many single people that even say that you know they prefer to be single than to date what they see in the in the market i'm saying market like we're going to purchase something <laughs> but i mean um they say they prefer to be single than to get into um you know the the dating pool because it feels like the good people have been taken it feels like all the godly women godly men are married and now looks like we're now left with what we need to deal with in the dating pool it can be very difficult but you need to tell yourself that mindset that there is scarcity has to go there is no scarcity with God. To trust God even concerning relationship matters. The Bible says that the step of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Right? And the righteousness of Christ has been given unto us. So you are the righteous person that God is talking about. Regardless of gender. Righteous man there just means like man as man and woman. So regardless of gender, your steps are ordered by the Lord. If everybody is saying there's a casting down, if the market is looking like what's going on in the dating pool, it feels like it's very difficult to find that person. You just need to tell yourself, my steps are ordered by the Lord. The Lord is going to give me that person that he has created to compliment me. The Lord is going to give me my own person. But if you go about with that mindset that the dating pool is mercy, if you go about with that mindset that there is no godly man or godly woman out there, if you go about with that mindset that everybody has been taken and you are just going to be left with whatever is left, you will just settle for less. Because the truth is that God still has sons and daughters. He has them out, right? And... If you feel like the dating pool is messy and you are thinking about that, you would be projecting that. The Bible says that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he, right? If you are thinking on that, that's what you'd be projecting out there. You, probably, you just notice that you're going out there and you're projecting um, the dating pool is messy and there is no man for me, there is no woman for me and you just manage whatever you have. The side effect of this thing is that if you're in a toxic relationship, you probably feel like, Oh, if I leave this current person I'm dating, ah, oh my, there's nobody for me. There's nobody for me. So you'd rather just stay in that toxic relationship. You need to let go of that mindset first. It's very important that you let go of that mindset. It's like saying that there is no money in Nigeria or there's no money in US or there's no money in Canada or there's no money in South Africa or there's no money in Ghana. It's just like generalizing. But I think of people making money there. It's simple. is messy. There is still that one person for you. There is that message for you. <laughs> there is that message for you right so regardless of whatever it seems like you can see you need to rest in the fact that you have god you have the holy spirit to guide you you have the holy spirit to order your steps if you are thinking that scarcity mentality you'll be getting that scarcity results you'll just be seeing that wherever you go to it feels like there are not godly people out there it feels like people are just pretending it feels like people are just being cultural christians right they are just being christians by book right and what you are looking for for is someone who submits to the scripture you need to let go of that mentality as soon as possible it's just like generalizing and saying that all your bad people like pepe not all your bad people like pepe we don't like pepe no <laughs> no your bad people like pepe so you need to let go and start to see things from your own view are you going to get married to everybody in the dating pool no 
are you going to get married to what you see out there no that is not your lot the bible says when others are saying there's a casting down you're saying there's a lifting up that can also apply in your relationship Some people are saying the market is messy you're telling yourself that the market is not messy for me and one thing you need to know is that you're not going to scout you're not going to kind of say ah make i go find wife make i go find you're not going to scout if you are a believer you need to understand that you need the help of the holy spirit because it's the only one that sees the future so if you are going there to say, okay, well maybe make I go church today, make I go find that woman where you go balance me. I'm going to speak English now, right? <laughs> Apologies. So if you are going out and you're saying that, let me go to the church to find, you know, that woman, that Christian sister that is going to compliment me. And you mistakenly fall into someone that is just pretending. Only the Holy Spirit has that knowledge. Only the Holy Spirit has the knowledge of one's future, past, present, whatever it is. So you should get into the habit of not going to scout. You're not scouting. You're not going to search. You're not going to say, okay, uh, help me to find one woman in that place. Oh, help me to find another woman in that place. No. You need to be also um, work on yourself. Whatever you are looking for. If you're looking for a man or a woman that loves the Lord, do you also love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Do you submit to the Lord? Do you submit to the authority of the scripture? Do you do that? If you say you want a, a man that, you know, wakes up in the night to pray, or you want a woman that wakes up in the night to pray, do you do that? If you say you want a woman that, you know, is respectful, a woman that is kind, that is loving, that, you know, knows how to treat people, are you that person? God is not going to give you his best daughter or his best son, if you, you are not ready to have that person, there's something people say, people say, um, um, opportunity meets preparations, right? So you need to be prepared to get what you want. So if you are saying that you want a Christian person, if you are saying you want a godly person and you yourself, you are not that person. Is it fair to anybody? Like, let's just look at it logically. If there is a father that has like one of his best daughter at home and one irresponsible man or one irresponsible woman is saying, I want to marry your son. You as the father, would you also release your son to that kind of person? Will you release your daughter to that kind of person? It's the same way with God. The Bible says that man themselves can be wicked and they are still able to give good gifts. How much more? God that is good and kind truth is i see these things on, sometimes on social media and it can be very scary it can be very very scary especially if you're not like married and you're just seeing what, what you are just wondering you're seeing people's mindset you're seeing how they think just a whole lot of things and you're wondering ah god i don't want to fall into this person hand. <laughs> see as i fresh before i marry i beg and yeah it can be very hard but that mindset of there is scarcity in the dating pool take it away it's like saying there is scarcity anywhere. The Bible says that the place of our feet are beautiful and the Lord is able to guide you. He's able to guide you. So you need to go to the Lord when it's time for you to like settle down. Father, this is what the dating pool is looking like. Help me choose rightly. Place me in the right place. Do you get? Like, let me be positioned in the right place so that the person that you said for me can see me. If a, a wrong mindset, argue. Honestly, you would think he's one of the best fragrances that you've first seen in your life. Like, he's going to embrace you. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious because the mindset has strongholds. And if you are running with a very bad mindset, right? You are running with it. Like, you've written down the vision that, ah, the dating pool is very messy. There is no godly man or woman out there. You'll be running with it. Like, write the vision down, make it plain. You'll be running with your own vision. And you'll be getting that. So if you can let go of that mindset, every time, right, I try to explain to people that you are not going to marry everybody in the dating pool. Just one person, no. And that's one person you need, though. So whether or not, oh, the dating pool is this, the dating pool is that, it does not consign you. Mm -mm. Co -co 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 -co. None of your business. You only is just that one person that you need. And when you get that one person, that's it. Basically, that is it. So that mindset of, and single people, if you are single this, this this time around, forget to do. Or if you are in a relationship, hold that person tight. If the person is misbehaving, you can let go of that person. No, the best of God is never in the past. That is the truth. So as long as the person is misbehaving and the person is being toxic, you can't because the dating pool is messy. You stay there and then get physically abused, mentally abused. The person you are going to stay with for the rest of your life. No, it's a big decision to make now. Let's think about it. So if at all, you see, and it's looking at dating pool is bad, you now say it's better for you to hold the bread at hand. 
and for you to go to the field. If the better than dies, what happened? You are em your hand is empty. <laughs> I like to be serious, but I don't know I'm more serious at this point. And, and yes, I'm not saying it is easy. But I'm just saying you should trust God. So we've come to the end of today's video. And I hope that this video blessed someone out there. Okay. Um, please still subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done that. Um, share this video with anyone in a relationship. If they need to go into a relationship or um, in a toxic relationship. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you believe that the dating pool is messed up? Do you think there is a high chance for singles to at least get married to good people, godly people? Or do you think that singles should just forget about it and be single for the rest of their life? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.